Hey there YouTube, how's everybody doing out there today? I'm a little bit achy from some dental work I had done yesterday, but no complaints. It's not really all that bad and should be healed up uh, very soon and then I can resume my normal eating. Right now it's just a lot of soft stuff, nice cream, smoothies, and what have you. But uh, in general life's pretty good. I'm getting better in my head. Um, I've been going inward a lot, lot more lately. Um, I've, uh, st I've st uh, started meditating. I had for the last almost a year been meditating in the evening usually, but I've started doing it in the morning, doing another session in the afternoon and getting breath work in and just feel really good and just like, does a lot for your mood and your disposition and uh, the way you are towards other people. But anyhow, today I want to talk about is discipline necessary on a raw vegan diet and how nice it is to have control over your food. So let's jump right into it. And let me just say before, um, before I get started there, control over your food, that's not meaning any restricting or trying to live by any regimented uh, means or any negative connotations that uh, a lot of people put around the word control. When I talk about control is I make the decisions and what I eat. I mean, it's not like, oh, I did this, I didn't want to do this the other night. Everything I eat is a conscious decision. When I eat cooked food, it's a conscious decision. Um, when I add more fat or whatever I'm doing, it's always a conscious decision. It's not like, oh, I fell off or oops, I slipped up. I know why I'm eating and I know what I'm eating. Um, one thing, a big mistake about me that a lot that some people make, and I get a, I get comments on Instagram, I get people that write to me, and uh, it just, it, and a lot of times I don't, I just say thank you, and I don't go into all the trouble of explaining it. But people say, ah, oh, I wish I had your discipline. I admire your discipline. You're so disciplined with this, and nothing could be further from the truth. Discipline doesn't have one thing to do with this. It's just like that I found a way of eating that makes sense to me, that makes me feel good, and I mean, that's, that's and I can eat as much as I want. That's one of the biggest things right there. I mean, um, it doesn't take discipline when I never have to be hungry. You know, everybody out there's probably done a diet for, at one point or another, and you're always hungry on the diet, or you come to the point where you're hungry on a diet, or even when you're just trying to get healthier, or whatever, you know, you're always like trying to restrict, don't eat this, don't eat that. I eat all the things I love because I've come to love them. And over the course of time, your palate will change a lot. I have to remind people a lot, a lot, a lot of times that I'm not some being that just sprang forth eating vegetables. I didn't start eating like this till I was 48 years old. And I ate like probably in the two or three years leading up to becoming vegan. I did not eat well at all. I remember six months or so living in San Jose, Costa Rica before I went vegan. And I was living in a little dirt bag hotel, uh, having uh, coming home from this office I was working at, eating fried chicken and grabbing a six pack of beer most evenings when I would come in. Um, I tried to save money and then I moved into a new place. I was eating ramen all the time. I mean, store-bought ramen, the kind you get for about 50 cents which is just loaded with sodium. I ate fried chicken. I used to smoke meat for a barbecue restaurant. So I've done it. I, mean, I used to scarf down chicken wings during football season. So I've been there. I'm not some sort of special being. And on top of all that, I was a hardcore drunk. Um, so one of the things I did from day one, from the very beginning is I didn't even, I, I cut out the animal products. And I started making these changes toward raw, but I was realistic with it. I went very high raw in the beginning, but also too, I had certain things like um, I would eat. Like I had this little bag of yucca chips that I would get with uh, smoothies every day. I was eating more, a lot of potatoes in those days. I was even putting oil on my potatoes. And I gave myself these certain allowances because I just think instinctively, I said, this is going to be a little bit of a process. And if you try to go super hardcore right off the bat, it's not going to work. But I just slowly adapted my body. I slowly, and my body started wanting more, better and better things. Um, and even the things that people, even the things that, um, you know, I include in my diet and all raw vegans actually could and should, like nuts, uh, people are always talking about nuts, always talking about nuts. And I think a lot of people in this raw vegan diet 
a lot of their problems, a lot of the reason they don't get the results they want, they don't lose the weight they want, is they just fall back on those nuts um, to keep them fully raw and they eat too much um, fat. But I liked nuts always growing up, even before I was vegan. I loved nuts. I loved uh, pistachios. I loved almonds. Um, I lived in France briefly and I ate smoked almonds almost every afternoon. Um, cashews, macadamia nuts, all the nuts, all the nuts. So even for the first two or three years, maybe, maybe uh, yeah, probably just the first two, three, maybe four years, I still liked the nuts quite a bit. And I would, that would kind of be my thing, you know, like once a week, once every couple of weeks, sometimes twice a week, I'd get myself a bag of nuts and eat while I was watching TV at night. That was kind of like my treat. I didn't notice when it happened, but just kind of slowly over time, um, I just didn't really want that anymore. And I don't, I couldn't tell you the last time I just sat and ate nuts. I used cashews and, um, I use cashews in uh, recipes, like mostly salad dressing recipes, um, vegan sour cream. Um, I use uh, walnuts. Uh, I make mock meats out of them. So I do different things with them, but I never sit around and uh, munch on notes anymore just because my, my taste buds change during this. So there's no discipline. There's zero, zero, zero discipline to um, anything I do here. It's very much for me, I'm a hedonist I'm not a hedonist overall, but in, in one sense, I'm very much a hedonist by the definition of hedonism, is I seek pleasure and I avoid pain. And that means within my body. I don't even like discomfort in my body. You know, at 58 years old, knock on wood, I've been fortunate. I haven't dealt with um, very much sickness. I haven't dealt with very much pain in my life. So you don't learn how to deal with it. So anytime I have anything, I get cranky. You know, I'm like, Ugh. I, I'm, I'm a little kid. I'm like, I'm not a good patient. I don't do well when I hurt or when I feel sick. So that food, like how I feel internally is everything, 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 everything. I talked about that in that last video. The fact that I have, I don't want to say flawless digestion because that it's probably a stretch, but I have flawless digestion in the sense that I don't ever have any trouble. I don't have, I don't generally have bloating. I don't have, you know, I go to the bathroom every day. I don't have, back, I don't get backed up. I don't have stomach aches. I don't have to go too much. It just seems to be like a smooth operation. Food comes in, food goes out. Food comes in, food goes out. Um, I have good energy all the time. Um, I don't have aches and pains. I mean, Jesus, at 58, that's that's something right there um you know like so many people walking around they can't squat down they couldn't get down on the floor and do a hindi squat they can't even like reach down and get something off the bottom shelf everybody deals with pain and not once again knock on that wood uh, i don't seem to be have, feeling any arthritis in any of the joints yet of course i'm 58 I'm, i've slowed down and uh you know, I do workouts. I don't do the same type of workouts anymore and stuff like that. So I don't need to fuel for that type of thing. But even if I wasn't eating this lifestyle, I've just kind of gotten to a point where I exercise for a different reason now. But anyway, that's kind of straying from the subject a little bit. But uh, no, discipline to finish up uh, uh, real quickly here. And in fact, discipline is not going to get you there. It's not just that that's not my thing, it's not going to get you there. Because especially when it comes to food, if you rely on discipline over it for too long, it's not going to work and you're just going to eventually always be falling off the wagon. If you make a, just make yourself a plan. You know, you know you better than I know you. Um, some people want to jump in cold turkey. I don't think the cold turkey thing works for most people. But I would just say, you know, most people, especially if you're a beginner or you're new to this lifestyle or you've never really made it work for you, change, any progress, any step you're taking forward is good. So if you're out there looking at this and you're already have given up the animal products and you're already eating certain things and you're already concentrating on what you're putting into your body, you're ahead of most of the world right there. So, um, 
You know, just just give yourself a little time and feel your way into this. I don't want that to sound too woo woo. You need to you need to you know do research online. You need to read. You need to take information from a variety of sources, from sources that contradict each other, and to see what you believe. But a lot of it, especially as you're going on down the road when you're two, three, four years into it, you just kind of start feeling your way along. along. Like, you know, when that time came when I'm like, yeah, I need to eat more greens. More greens need to be added in. And then a time came where, okay, I see why these sprouts are so important. And then regular sprouts came in. And then, you know, way even back before that, I'm figuring out like use, how I can use things like hemp seeds, chia seeds, all these different things. And you just figure out the things that, uh, and you put one piece together. It's kind of like putting a puzzle together. It can take some people a little bit longer than others, but eventually you just keep moving forward. You just keep moving forward. But if you like to feel good, I don't know what else to tell you. Like I say, I avoid pain at all costs. I avoid any uh, discomfort at all costs. So if you like to feel good, get control over what you're putting in your body. Whether you eat exactly like me, this could be this could be applied to anything you're doing. But it's a, it's a freedom to have control over your food. It's a freedom because, you know, like if I get busy or something during the day, nothing annoys me more than the person that has to, we're doing something, you have to stop what you're doing specifically to go eat all the time under any condition. Like you're on the road, you got to stop. So uh, anyhow, just rambling a little bit there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Um, have a great rest of the week and um, see you here again on Friday. God willing. Peace.